Hi, this is Ian, author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes. Today I'm going to show you how to edit slide themes in Google Slides. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me. Let's get started. So I have opened up Google Slides and I have a, t a test presentation for new theme. And basically the way that you can get into editing the themes for slide presentations is to actually open a presentation or create a new one and then edit the, edit the theme from there. And then you can use that theme in new presentations that you make or in other scenarios. So I have this test presentation. You can see there's a title slide and there's a very simple slide with some uh, text below it. I want to change the theme. The easy way to do to change the appearance of a theme is actually just to switch the theme and like you can, you can go to slide change theme and then you can see on the right side under themes there's a whole bunch of different looks and feels that you can get. And some of these look pretty cool. This looks kind of you know data driven. Uh, some of them look very basic like this blue one here. And anyways, let's say that I wanted to change the appearance of one of these uh, theme existing themes, actually edit the theme. So different fonts, maybe different elements and things like that. It's very simple to do. So let's let's start here with this particular style of theme. This is called Streamline. And what I'm going to do is click on Slide, Edit Theme. And I'm brought to this particular screen. It's a little bit confusing at first if you've never edited themes before in either Slides or in PowerPoint. But the basic concept is, there's like a master slide, and then there's individual slide types. Like this is the title slide. Uh, this is another type of title style. These are kind of bullet a bulleted list within the slide presentation. And then they have this type of slide. So there's all these different types that they have. But at the very top level is the master slide. And actually, that's where a lot of the work should start. That's what I recommend you do. And basically to change the font style, for instance, we would just select that. And you can see that the selected type is railway. I'm going to change that to, um, let's do kind of a classic serif font. So this is Cambria, 28 point. If I want to, I can bump it up a little bit. And then I can even go to, actually, let's just make this a little bit easier to see. So let's zoom in to Maybe it's a little bit too big there. So it's easier to see the fonts that we're working with. Okay. So let's change uh, the second level bullets. So right now it is Lato 11 point. Let's change that to caveat. And let's bump up the size a little bit. So this is a kind of an unusual way to do it. But basically I'm just changing these fonts for the sake of explaining what it looks like. All right. That's good. I want to do something else for my themes, and that is I want to have the logo for my company on every single slide. If I wanted to, I could just have the logo on certain types of slides, like I'd, I could put it on this bulleted list. But what I wanted, what I want, what I really want to happen is the logo shows up everywhere. So again, I'd select the master slide, then I'd go to insert, image, upload from computer, and I want this one, the clock icon. Now. This is too big, clearly. So what I want to do is just grab the corner and then scale it down by dragging to the right. And you can see it gets a lot smaller. And actually, I want this thing pretty tiny. So I want this to appear in the left corner of every single slide that I create for this particular presentation. And know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring that up a little bit so it's easier to see. And all right, that looks pretty good. Uh, maybe for this slide right here, See how there's a background color that I don't like, and it kind of looks weird with this um, with my logo there. So what I might do here is to I'm right clicking over the over the background, and I'm going to select change background. So the color here is dark green. I'm just going to change that to gray. All right. Now obviously there's some other impacts there. Like now the text is hard to read, so maybe I have to change the text color by going again to the toolbar selecting the text color and changing that let's say change that to uh, dark blue okay so I can go through and make changes to each one of these each one of these um, slides and you can see that in some cases like this is a slide with two separate bullet lists it just draws the it draws the style from the master slide up here so I made the change on this one here for the second level it's that weird caveat font and you can see it carried over 
to the to the type of slide that's below it. So this is this type of slide pulls in from the master slide. If I wanted to, I could just change. Um, let's say, actually let's change it on this side. I can change that to something else. And what that means, let's change that to Arial and bump the, bump the size down. And what that means is when I create a new slide presentation using this theme, every time I create this type of slide that is a headline and two bulleted lists, it will use whatever fonts and colors and styles that I use on this particular master slide. Okay. Now the master slide, again, it's using these different fonts that carry out carry through to all the other slides below it but I made an exception for this particular one on the on the list on the right side anyways I think you get the idea of what we're doing here we're basically going through and we're changing we're changing the different types of colors and other elements that are used in this particular slideshow and basically find some styles that you like for your presentation uh, go through and make them. You can add elements like images, like I just added this image on the master slide. So this little logo appears on every single one. And once you're happy with that, you can you can click out of it, and that will it will use that it will use that going forward. So one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename my new theme. I'm going to call this Streamline Variation 2023, and click OK. All right. So I'm going to click out of that by clicking this X. I'm going to click out of the themes here. And basically, things are going to start to look different. So let's create a new, let's insert a new slide. And uh, you can see that the logo is appearing on the left side here. And let's just try to create a bullet list. So um, this is bullet one. This is bullet two indented. This is bullet three, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these bullets here. This is just in the presentation. I'm not in the theme anymore. I'm going to create the bullets and then I'm going to I'm going to make this a second level bullet and look at that. See how the text changed to the new to the new um, style of font, caveat. This is the same font that I specified when I created the new theme um, just about 2 minutes ago. And then for bullet 3, if I if I indent it once, it'll be the uh, that caveat font. But then if I indent it again, it's the level three style bullet, and so on. So this is how you uh, change your theme and then edit it to create a new one. If I wanted to create a new presentation using this theme, basically what I could do is just make a copy, file, make a file, make a copy of the entire presentation, and it would just copy over the same theme. Or maybe when I'm working on another presentation, I can see if I can find this new theme that I created, um, whatever I, I called it, uh, Streamline Variation 2023. I could look for that theme and try to apply it. But there's lots of possibilities for editing the theme and making something that looks pretty interesting and pretty unique to you. You can use elements like logo. You can use special text. You can put a watermark on there. Uh, you can put your name on every slide if you want to do something like that. And it's basically going back to the theme and editing the master slide and then ed editing the slides that are below it, whether it's a bulleted list or uh, like a paragraph of text or whatever. I hope this video helped you out just to kind of get a handle on how to edit themes in Google Slides. If it did, please take a moment to like it and follow me. And then also, if you go to in30minutes.com, you can see the book that I wrote about Google Drive and Docs, and it also covers Google Slides. Google Forms, and other tools in the Google suite. Thank you so much for watching.